Hello, hello guys. Welcome to day 15 of 30 days of mine. So we are starting the third week and we're still focusing on data cleaning. And today we're going to deal with two variables which are a bit problematic. So the variable for canceled and diverted, these two should be Boolean. And right now they do not have just two values they have several so for instance whether or not the flight was cancelled if it's if it's false it could be indicated by false scrolling down you also see f scrolling further down you also see zero so there are three different values representing one thing but for boolean it should only be one so essentially what i need to do for these two columns is Instead of having instead of having zero F and false for false, I only need to have false. And for true, instead of having one T and true, I need to only have T. So let me show you exactly which values are in these columns to show you exactly what's going on. And I'm just going to do this using the group by node. The group by node is something I hope to come back to to give you some more of an overview of it. But in case I don't get to it, I'm going to have some resources for the group by node in the comments of this video. So right now, running cancels through the group by just shows us the different values in that cancelled column. So right now we have six, but for Boolean, we should only have two, true or false. So to fix this, I have created a table, a lookup table, which more or less has four of those values which need to go and their placement, what their placement should be for them. In this lookup table, I don't have true or false because those ones are fine and I don't need to replace those ones. Okay, so now we're finally getting to the actual star of this video, which is the cell replacer node. The cell replacer node is very powerful because it lets you replace several different values. And, you know, you can do find and replace in Excel, but when you have so many of them, it's probably more efficient to just connect a lookup table to it and make your replacement in bulk. So I could, for instance, here have, maybe I could have 30 different things I want to replace. Imagine going to the dialog box in Excel 30 times. That's going to take some time. So you could just put them out here and do it all at once. And again, once you have done it and it's part of your workflow, you never have to type it again. Whenever you need it, you can just run it from there. So in the star replacer, I need to indicate which column I want to fix. So this column is going to be coming from my input table, which is my bigger data file. So the column I want to fix first is cancelled, and I'll do the exact same thing for the diverted column after this. What do I want to look up? So what do I want to find? That is the column I have, you know, labeled as find. And what do I want to use as a replacement? That is the column I have labeled as replace. So more or less, we are searching the input table for occurrences of the values in our find column and we're replacing them with the values in our replace column from our dictionary table which is that table i created um, within nime itself and if no element matches i want to use the input because remember i did not put true or false in my table because those ones are fine i don't need to fix them so i can leave them as they are now when i run this if i go back to my group by node to see which values are in that cancelled column. Now I only have two values. Now it's a Boolean and I'm good to go for that column. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and fix the diverted column as well using the exact same methodology. So now if I open up my data, expand this. And I scroll to where those two columns are, those columns which are problematic. Now, if I explore and I scroll down and I browse it, these two columns, all I can see are false and true, false and true, false and true. So my replacement using the cell replacer has worked. And now my data set is cleaner than it was before. And I'm ready for more cleaning and eventually some nice fun data sciencey stuff. So stay tuned for that. Definitely you guys, and I'll see you in day 16. Thank you. Goodbye.